Hi, welcome back. I'm Roland. We are still in uh, basic call and it's our part 5 of our tutorial. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Our topic for today is about uh, editing uh, layers and wrapping. Now let's begin. Our discussions for today is about uh, editing the wall structure. We will discuss everything about this edit. So, first that I'm going to do is, uh, as usual, we need to set our unit. And uh, since this is our previous exercise, so the unit was already set to meters. So next is uh, we're going to delete this. We don't need this because we are only discussing about uh, a wall editing, editing one wall. We will edit only one wall. So I go to wall and uh, I'm going to select this uh, just a generic wall. And I'm not going to change everything. I will accept all of this uh, default because what I'm going to discuss only is uh, how to, manu how to manu manipulate all the walls and edit it. And the height, okay, you just uh, will place it uh, unconnected. And then, uh, okay, that's it. We'll accept everything and we're going to draw a wall. I just draw wall from here to this grid. And here is our wall. So I click the wall and then uh, click this edit type and we have this uh, family family basic wall and then uh, this is from category wall and then family and the type generic 200 mm so we cannot load any family because this is a system family and uh, what we can do only is uh, uh, to duplicate we cannot uh, even uh, uh, do or create our own family. What we can do is only duplicate this. Then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to name it uh, Edit Wall. The name of our uh, discussions for today. Topic Edit Wall and then OK. And then uh, next that I'm going to do is uh, just go go straight so go directly edit wall and then what you can see is uh, here so what we have is uh, a wall structure structure one category and we have this sample height six meters so i'll discuss this also uh, later on and then uh, what we have here family basic wall type edit wall and then total thickness is uh, 0.2 we have this 0.2 here thickness and then uh, there is no wrap we have not yet uh, done the wrap and resistance and thermal mass nothing so we have here structure one and by category so this is our core boundary this is our main this is our highest priority structure number one what is uh, structure number one uh, structure number one defines structural component uh, of the wall uh, that support uh, the rest of the layers so this is the highest priority and then when i click this i have you can see this option there is a drop down arrow so if I drop this, we have plenty of options to uh, uh, choose to consider. One is structure one, number two is substrate, number three is thermal air layer, and then finish one four and finish two five and then membrane. So we will uh, we will uh, discuss all these things and we will uh, place all these things in our uh, sample. Uh, or our exercise we have this also here up 
you can see if you are going here up this is the exterior side and then from this core boundary boundary core boundary another one core, core boundary at the top number one and there is a layer number three and it named it core boundary also but this uh, is for our interior side okay all the things that we are going to do on this number one upward will be in our exterior side and all the things that we will do down this core boundary layer number three will be our interior side so again there is an insert and there is delete up down grade and there is also default wrapping when we wrap we will discuss also about this wrapping wrapping at insert and then and then there is also wrapping at the end and then there is modify layer structure sections previously only and this is great great uh, if you want to access that one you need to click this preview when you open it you will see this one there is a preview arrow and click it and when you click it this will uh, open an access of this or modify merge uh, assign layers split region sweep reveal we will we will discuss all these things uh, uh, about this uh, uh, functionality functionality of all that things and then uh, the next uh, uh, I'm going to do is uh, we're going to create another so I will going to define all those things that is uh, here uh, all of these uh, uh, options that uh, we can use in creating our wall number one is structure just as I said this is the highest priority of our uh, walls so this uh, only supports the rest of these layers number two there is a substrate substrate two what is this substrate two this defines uh, the uh, what you call plywood or a gypsum and then number three thermal air or uh, thermal slash air layer number three what is this this one is uh, our insulations you can say the insulations it can be uh, any insulations that we're going to use or it will be uh, uh, an air gap only and then uh, number four is this finish layer so this finished layer specifies the finished layer that we're going to use this is our plastering you can say and then there is also finish to five layer uh, this specifies a secondary layer second secondary secondary uh, finish or it, you can say this is the weakest or finish layer and then number four is membrane membrane this membrane means uh, this is a zero thickness you can assign zero thickness you can assign thickness here and you can also assign zero thickness it means to say there is no thickness but the rest of this if you will not assign any thickness like for example i'm going to create or insert another one i'm going to insert another one in this uh, insert and then uh, I leave that one zero yeah? and then I'm going to insert again another one and then uh, okay then there is an error an, an error zero thickness layer must have a membrane layer functions or be deleted uh, row zero thickness layer must have membrane layer functions or be deleted so I close it it cannot be leave us zero thickness and uh, I delete it and I delete it also the other one and if I'm going to insert another one and call it membrane I call it membrane layer and then okay there is no error it means to say that uh, even there is no thickness still it will work and then uh, the next that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to insert another membrane and uh, we'll, we'll use it all I will insert another membrane insert and then this is our substrate 
or our insulations or uh, it's just uh, uh, it's not insulation uh, it's uh, uh, what you call this one a plywood or a gypsum board so the next is uh, we're going to assign the material let's say we will assign a gypsum board just type gypsum and I have a gypsum board and then uh, okay and this material is gypsum so let's have a thickness of this let's say our thickness is uh, 0.1 and then our membrane so membrane and then again I'm going to insert another one insert and then uh, I'm going to place another layer the name name of that layer is we have this uh, membrane substrate and then uh, I'll go to thermal air okay uh, guys uh, you cannot uh, do like this it, it, it should be uh, sequential you cannot place uh, number three layer as thermal and then next is your substrate this one uh, will create only error if I'm going to place this one like uh, thermal air and then place this one as our substrate and then okay and this was this is error no? zero thickness layer must have membrane even I'm going to place a thickness there let's say point 15 okay there is still an error layer function priorities cannot be sent from core boundary to finish it means to say I cannot uh, uh, interchange them it should be sequential so i just place this one substrate two and i'm going to place this one our thermal air and then again i'm going to insert another one insert and now going to accept this last one finish and then we're going to place our thickness of finish let's say i'm going to place my thickness of Finish is uh, 16 mm, or you can type it like this 16 then mm and then enter, and that is also equivalent to 0 0.0160 meters. So, in our membrane, uh, okay, you can you can uh, you can select any any materials you need, you want to place it in our membrane, and uh. Okay, let's just leave it uh, no materials because it is zero layer so thermal air so you choose a material for that let's type it air maybe air and uh, there is an air uh, uh, air inflation mem membrane analytical air so so just uh, choose this air and then okay and we have this air and then finish so I want to have a finish of uh, what you say let's say I'm going to finish brick let's say let's shoot this brick brick so I have selected bricks and then this is brick so if this is brick this is maybe four inches so make it four inches you can also type it four uh, inches And this is equivalent to uh, 0 0.1016 meters. So also in our structure, obviously we have a material there, and I'm going to name the material uh, concrete. Concrete uh, casin situ, and then okay, okay. That is our first layer from structure going up. And this is our exterior side. Above this core, it's our exterior side. So let's also make some uh, materials uh, on this uh, uh, interior side. So I click insert. And then there is up and down arrow. Just click this down arrow and it goes down. And then uh, here I'm going to use, uh, let's say, uh, substrate. Substrate. 
uh, no it's a membrane I use membrane and then uh, again insert and then uh, you can bring it down and uh, you can use uh, say our finish and then uh, membrane uh, just leave it like that and we'll choose our finish here uh, let's say gypsum and then okay this is my material now that i have created so it's like this or uh, you can also use a finish uh, membrane here uh, finish uh, to not gypsum you can also use uh, uh, concrete casting c to plaster and i have plaster and then uh, plaster rendered concrete concrete let's say i just use concrete Uh, concrete uh, sand cement grid uh, okay grid concrete masonry okay and then uh, okay we have uh, a finish concrete and I'm going to use this one 16 mm so this is the material that I have created so now uh, we have the materials and uh, again uh, we'll continue on to this uh, default wrapping there is a wrapping insert and do not wrap and there is an insert and, and this and there is a wrap at the end so what is uh, that so uh, this insert is uh, a wrapping let's say I'm going back okay I accept this apply and then here here on this uh, uh, wall that we have created say I'm going to make a door I have a door place a door there and uh, I have placed my door here so here where is our outer side this is our outer side and this is our inner side so you can also uh, what you call this one flip this change the wall orientation you can change it you can place it like this and now it this is our this is our uh, uh, exterior and this is our interior as you can see we go to this 3d 3d yeah this is so we have this box uh, this is disturbing so I want to uncheck that box and go so I have this uh, wall so the reason and a door the reason why I place the door here is uh, I want to discuss to you about this wrapping there is also an option of an insert wrapping so what I'm going to do is just uh, click that one and go here and then again edit and again there is at insert so I'll choose insert exterior so if I'm going to insert at exterior let's say exterior like this and then ok and then apply and then ok you see this is wrapping on this exterior before there is no wrapping there so again uh, there is another one here that is not wrapped so our uh, material here on this side is uh, plastic cement so what we can do also we can uh, wrap it both as uh, I go back and then uh, at insert and there is also at interior if you say at interior only okay and then apply and then that wrapping is only there at interior here and there is no wrap at exterior and then again I click it back and uh, I go back 
and then uh, I wrap it both both and then okay apply okay both are wrapping there is a wrap here on this uh, exterior side and there is wrapping on the interior side and this is at the center of our uh, structure so again uh, let's go back edit go to edit and uh, again let's discuss this at end so uh, here if I'm going to click this drop arrow there is two options exterior and interior and uh, this wrap is at the end so I selected this and then ok and then apply and then ok and then if I click outside here it is wrap at the end see guys it's wrap and uh, again I will change it to this is wrap exterior so I will wrap it interior so select this and then wrap it edit and then wrap it uh, interior and then ok and then apply and then ok and then this is wrap uh, of the material that is uh, we created at exterior yeah at in in interior ok ok guys that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.